Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at game number 14 in our 20 from the Intellivision series. And this game was a very cool uh, flight simulator type of game involving a, a helicopter flying uh, over a city trying to destroy uh, terrorists that are piling helicopters. And this is called Hover Force. This was created by the INTV Corp in 1986 and Steve Edinger and it was originally gonna be created much earlier and in 3D but Mattel dropped it and then later when INTV Corp bought the rights to Mattel Electronics properties they uh, brought it back but uh, there's the buttons uh, we'll get into more about what those do you can choose your rank to begin with <laughs> and we have a uh, rotor blade sound effect to start things off. Um, you can select Cadet, Ranger, or Ace difficulty. And uh, you have clear button to uh, use your air brakes. Definitely want to use those because you can fly out of control easily. Uh, the zero button is your radar map. And you'll definitely want to look at that to see where the enemies are. And then the enter button will let you land when you're at the right place. You have to know where your base is because you might have to go back there when your uh, fuel is low. And here it tells what the buttons do. Laser cannons, which is your basic firing on the enemy's upper side keys. Water cannons. When the enemies shoot buildings, they can set them on fire or bomb buildings. And you can use the water cannons to put the fire out. And the flight controller is the disc, or they say it's the wheel. Air brakes clear key and that helps you stop immediately uh, radar screen which shows where the enemies are that's the zero key land and refuel you will press the enter key when you're at the right place and uh, we'll look at that in a little bit later but you will start out at the base which is where you want to go back to to refuel and here you can select cadet ranger or ace with the one two three keys and then press enter and you'll need to keep an eye on how much fuel you have left if you are out of fuel you will crash uh, and you can only return to base during one mission uh, twice uh, the third time you try you will crash and uh, to complete a mission you have to destroy all the enemy uh, aircraft all the enemy choppers I love this scene. This is so cool. It gives you the thumbs up. <laughs> so awesome. Well, you start at your base. And uh, whenever you run low on fuel, you'll need to go back there. And uh, you'll need to uh, land and refuel. And here we see a couple enemy choppers already firing at me, and I wasted one of them. Now, uh, you can refuel twice and then uh, land once your mission is completed. You can't land uh, three times if your mission has not been completed or you will crash. Anytime you crash, your game will end. And when you look at the radar screen, you will note that uh, there will be yellow squares and those are the enemy choppers. The enemy choppers will either be red or yellow. You could get hit, and you will you will take a little bit of damage when the, the enemy hits you, but you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Now, if the enemy damages the ground, uh, damages a building or a, a bridge or something, um, you can press the bottom right keypad button, which is uh, Enter. And, or no, excuse me, you will, uh, you can press the uh, bottom right action buttons, right or left, and those are your water cannons, and those will put out fires, but uh, there have been no fires as of yet, and you will see a uh, uh, cost damage, uh, right now it's at zero million dollars. I would imagine that's in million point whatever, but uh, 
when uh, when a fire starts burning, or if you shoot the uh, ground below, then that will add to the damage meter. And that will all be counted up in your score, and you will get points detracted for, uh, for, uh, uh, shooting, uh, the ground below. And this city is called, uh, New Seaburg, and terrorists are attacking it. And once you've completed a mission, just head on back to here, and you press the, uh, Enter key. That is land. Or if you need to refuel. Keep checking that, uh... See, there's no damage. There's no fires. Just six enemies destroyed. Mission is complete. And my score is 100. Perfect. That will change definitely over the course of the game. It will dip lower and lower because, uh... The enemies will destroy the ground or you accidentally will, trying to shoot the enemy down. Again, you have an air brake button, and that is the clear button on the keypad, and that will stop you immediately. Immediately, You need to let go of the controller, and then press that button, and that'll make you stop. Hey, there's an enemy chopper right close. This game gets super hard later on. The enemies avoid, avoid your fire easily, they are much quicker than you. Uh, they can uh, go off the screen slightly, or off off the map slightly, where you can't go. It's really, really annoying. And when the best way to follow them is look at the map, and you can you can steer your chopper while on the map. You'll want to do that. You'll want to uh, fly after them while you're on the map. And right when you get over them, and again, they appear as uh, yellow squares on the map, you'll want to press, uh, you'll want to, uh, uh, press, uh, what is it, radar, again, zero, to go back to the, uh, main screen. Right when you're, right, right when you've moved on top of them in the map screen. That way, you should be able to see them. But like I said, later on in the game, they get very good at uh, avoiding you. And there is a fire. Let's uh, put it out. you got to press the uh, bottom left or bottom right action button to fire your water cannons, and now it's out. There will still be uh, damage uh, points. You know, points that will... Uh, drop your score down a little bit, but uh, if you put out a fire, the, uh, the damage won't continue to rise unless there's, a, there's an attack somewhere else on the city, and you'll hear a, a crash sound when there's damage being inflicted by the enemy. But uh, keep checking that map. Check the map for enemies, which again are yellow squares. Check the map for fires, which are red spots on the map. And you'll want to slow down and fire the uh, water cannons on them. And also check your fuel. It's so hard to, uh, to uh, uh, fly just where you want to go because you'll easily overshoot something, and that's why you need to use your air brakes. The uh, clear button on the keypad. Let go of the controls, press that air brake, and stop, and then move in a different direction. But, uh, when you're on the map screen, follow the enemy until you're right on top of them, because they, to, they love to dodge you and they are they get very quick right when you're on top of them in the map screen get out of the map screen by pressing the uh, radar button again which is zero and going back to the main screen and look for that chopper and destroy it you'll need to fire just a little bit ahead of them unless they're basically standing still but if they fire upon you that might uh, That'll, 
that'll damage you, and I think that the damage shown is in the, the map screen and shows what part of the chopper is damaged, and it can be, uh, if it's damaged enough, I think it'll be destroyed. But uh, it's it's kind of hard to take enough damage, I think, to be destroyed. The, the easiest way to be destroyed is to run out of fuel. But if you notice, you cannot fly through one edge to the other side. You cannot warp. You just got the whole map to fly around. And remember, when you need to go back to the base, it is at the top center of the map. Kind of a little island that that's barely noticeable on the on the top of the map. You see the tail of it. That is where you want to go, and you will press the Enter key when you are over the uh, landing area. Now there's another fire. I'll come back to that later, I think. Yeah, it's good if you've got the fuel, it's good to waste an enemy first before you put out fires. Because they'll just make more. <laughs> but first I want to refuel. There we go. Just hover around here and press enter. And there we land. And we will get all our fuel replenished. Uh, damage fixed, I think. You'll get uh, your laser power and uh, water for your uh, water cannons refilled. I just love that thumbs up. That's so cool. I had never heard of this game back in the day. Uh, maybe my damage isn't completely refil re uh, fixed. But at any rate, yeah, I'd never heard of this back in the day. Uh, like I was saying earlier, it was intended probably with greater 3D effects than we're seeing here. And, uh that was originally going to be made by Mattel. <clears throat> Mattel, and then they dropped it. And later on, INTV picked this game back up and released it in 1986. It's fun. I kind of like it. But, yeah, it can be frustrating later on with the, with the enemies getting so fast. They can quickly zip out of your, out of your view. It's hard to hit them when they're flying. Ooh, that was nice. But, uh, yeah, look for those red spots on the radar. Those are fires. Go and, uh, fire your, uh, water cannons on them. And, uh, the yellow squares are the enemy choppers. If you have enough fuel, take out all the, uh, enemy choppers you can first before fixing the fires. Ooh, and don't... Don't accidentally shoot at the uh, buildings or bridges or whatever on the city, because that will count uh, damage points off of your uh, off of your score. Yeah, crash once and your game will end. And you crash by uh, either uh, trying to land too many times in a mission, which would be three if you did if that does not end the mission um, and perhaps if you take too much damage but that's really hard to do I mean if you just sit there and let the enemy continue to fire on you then probably yeah you probably take too much damage and die but yeah you'll you'll notice which icon is you there's a, a chopper icon on the on the map or radar you'll know that's you. And then the enemy choppers are yellow squares. But yeah, you can you can land a maximum of two times without completing the mission. I had not heard of this back in the day, but it's it's kinda cool. Definitely uh, definitely impressive for uh, in television. the end of that mission. I'm not uh, not going to score as well as the first mission. <laughs> yeah, damage, fires, but I killed uh, six enemies. That's the end of that mission. We're not going to do a complete 
playthrough. For the last mission, I'm gonna skip forward a little bit. I mean, I, I think I got to, like, uh, the fourth mission or something. But yeah, remember, you can land and refuel uh, a maximum of twice per mission. And if you try to do it a third time, you will crash and your game will end. I had not heard of this before I started looking at all the different Intellivision games when I was compiling this, this list of the top 20. I, lo I love that there's the basketball courts. <laughs> or, uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, I had not heard of this until uh, I started doing this list and I started playing and I was like, oh, this is this is actually pretty cool for the Intellivision. Yeah, those, the choppers just do not want to sit still for you uh, later on in the game. They will be very, very, very uh, tough to catch. And like I said before, you'll start to want to uh, go to the radar screen and fly after them on the radar screen. And right when you're on top of them, then go back to the regular screen and try to try to nail them. But yeah, it's it's easy to accidentally shoot your own buildings when trying to lead them with your shots. There we go. But if you do hit them with your shots, that will not destroy the building. Oh come on, you bastard. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Well I hope you're staying safe amid this uh coronavirus scare. There's more and more people that are uh, succumbing to it. And we now have uh, over a thousand deaths in the U.S. I did not think we were going to get to that. We're, uh, we're getting some cases at, uh, at the hospital where I work. So I gotta take extra special precaution when I have to clean up after these people. But uh, me personally, i pretty darn sure I don't have it. feel uh, pretty healthy now. So, uh, I, I just can't wait for this to end. I mean, having a, having a look for any place that has toilet paper or, or certain other things, cleaning supplies or whatever, it's a pain in the butt. And not being able to go into a restaurant and sit down really sucks. Uh, but uh, other than that, I'm not a I'm not a social person, so I I, I otherwise don't mind that much. <laughs> I like to stay at home and make videos like these. There we go, got that guy. But uh, yeah, the B B-17 bomber was also a flight simulator type of game, but I like this one a, a good deal better. This is this has far simpler controls. You just have to worry about the top. The top uh, two side buttons, action buttons, are are your shot, your regular shot, and then your bottom two action buttons are the water cannon, and then you have clear for air brakes, zero for radar, and enter for landing. And then at the beginning, you can select Cadet, Ranger, or Ace difficulties. Ranger or Ace, I imagine, would be like these later stages, where the enemies are smarter, faster, harder to catch. But, uh, come back here, you little bastard. Hey, nice shot. But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of dig this game. Uh, I don't normally have patience for uh, uh, flight simulator type of games. But this one's this one's not bad. I kind of enjoy it. Yeah, when your when your fuel gets to be around 50 or less, probably better hightail it to the uh, base at the top center and land and refuel. But again, you can't do it more than twice during a mission. Uh, 
you will be able to land a third time if you completed the mission, if you at least destroyed all the enemy choppers. You can leave fires burning, but I wouldn't recommend it because it counts against your score, of course. Oh, come on! Yeah, when they're when they're really low to the ground, it's, it's harder to hit them. Ugh, and now I'm destroying uh, buildings. Go, oh, come on! There, jeez. And I still got one more, but maybe I should land. Yeah, make a. Uh, Make not only air brakes your friend, but uh, use the radar screen all the time. Maybe, maybe I got it. Eh, yeah, I better land probably. I was thinking, well, maybe I can catch him, but. Oh. This guy. Hey, come here. Hey, nice shot. Still got that one guy down there. Yeah, let's 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 land. But uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I spent much of today having to uh, clean out my hot tub because I had a bunch of ants crawling around the outside of it. I mean, a ton of them. That turns my stomach. Ugh. I hate ants. So I uh, scrubbed with all the Lysol uh, cleaner I had left, making it nice and lemony because ants don't like the lemon smell. And then for good measure, I, I went out and picked up some uh, peppermint, uh, uh, peppermint flavoring uh, extract and, and uh, wiped that on the outside the hot tub because ants really hate peppermint. But it works. There we go. But yeah, we will uh, we will cut forward uh, at some point to seeing me crash just because we've basically seen all that this game has to offer everything you need to know about this game. The uh, the city never changes its structure, so it's not like you're flying into a new city to protect it. It's always going to be the same. Thank goodness, because it's so freaking huge. But again, you cannot warp from one edge to another, which kind of sucks. But and, and by this point, the enemies are starting to get uh, faster. And then uh, at, after you crash, you get a final score. And it's not going to be very big. Uh, and it's factored by like how many, how much damage the city took, whether by the enemy or or by your clumsy shooting. Uh, how many fires were created by the enemy? Hover Force, and initially created, I can't remember if it was like 83 or whatever, but it was initially going to be created by Mattel, and they opted to go with, I guess, a much richer 3D look than came out in this game, and I still think it's pretty cool looking, uh, but uh, they canceled that, and uh, INTV came along and uh, bought out the rights to Mattel Electronics' properties, including everything in television, and they decided to polish it, polish this game off and give it another go. And that's the end of that mission. I think that was mission three. Total rating, 43. Ugh. Well, it's gonna, gonna get worse after this next mission. Or, uh, after I uh, crash. <laughs> I love that thumbs up. That's so great. What what cool little touches on this game. <laughs> well, 
there's a number of people that aren't able to work with uh, with the coronavirus going around and my brother has a car lot he's uh, he he's out of work right now or he, he can't uh, he can't go to work right now so he's got a lot of free time on his hands I yeah, I don't envy that I'm glad I'm uh, I'm glad I'm working although I do have a whole hell of a lot of vacation time left a whole lot of sick time I almost never get sick got a little bit sick uh, not that long ago but hardly ever happens. It took me about a week to get over it. It's a sore throat. I had to take a couple days off of work, but feeling good right now. Hope you are too. Yeah, these enemies just start getting really elusive. Really hard to hit. God, you little bastard! <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll cut forward to uh, to the end of my game here, and and they might fly faster than you. And now I can't catch him because he flew off the map. Well, we'll scoot forward to me running out of fuel. Notice that I only had 15 gallons of fuel, and you expend one gallon per second. So I'm about to uh, crash because I'm nowhere near the base. I don't think. About to crash and it'll be game over. <laughs> and then you get your uh, score tallied up. Damage fires enemy. That was for that stage. Ranking or rating 32. Meh. <laughs> well, that's kind of a cool game. Well, that was Hover Force, created in 1986 by uh, the INTV Corp. And Steve Edinger was this crazy clown racing. Thanks for watching Hover Force, game number 14, R20 from in, in television series. See you soon with game number 13. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.